Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. So we are now uh, still in this uh, dry static friction and uh, we have started to, to give uh, lectures on dry static friction last time and uh, we almost finished the theory. Uh, as a summary, dry static friction or st friction is uh, just a motion. No? It's, it's just a force that opposes the motion. So whenever there's a force, that opposing force yeah, is the friction. And we have uh, discussed all the, the law, uh, the governing principle or the conditions, how uh, a friction uh, would... Uh, would uh, happen yeah so now uh, we are going to to consider some of the problems uh, in the domain of uh, friction so here we have a we have a problem here so it says a hundred Newton a hundred Newton force a hundred Newton force uh, Newton force acts as shown on a 300 Newton block. Okay? Uh, place on an inclined plane, meaning the plane is uh, uh, placed in an angle. The coefficients of friction between the block and plane are mu s, mu static is 0.25, and mu um, uh, kinetic is 0.2. Determine whether the block is in equilibrium and find the value of the friction force. So first, we have to to, to put uh, into details or detail out all the, the given. First, there is a hundred newton force. So this one, this one, right? So this is the force. Uh, normally, we put this as p. Because F is the, the friction force not And then, shown on a 300 Newton block. So this block here, this one, yeah? So this block here is 300 Newton. And then, uh, it is placed in an inclined plane. And uh, that, uh, that inclined plane has uh, this uh, ratio of rise over run. So this is rise over run. So it's like this. Yeah? So... 3 over 4. Later, we can get the, the angle, yeah, which is uh, opposite over adjacent. Uh, we can get the, the angle of this. So later, we can get the angle of this. Now, the coefficients of friction between uh, the block and plane are mu s and mu k. Now, so the coefficients of friction between the block and the plane is this. Yeah? So here, so if this is the, the force going up, so the, 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 the friction is here. Yeah. So there we have a coefficient of friction. And the coefficient of friction, if I may uh, re-emphasize or or um, stress stress out is that the 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 the, the friction exists only bit uh, it needs two part two elements right so it there should be a, a block there's a block and the plane you no know? so friction cannot exist alone you no know, unless uh, uh, there is an another medium like air you no know? <clears throat> so it's also okay but air is also another medium another element you no. Know? So here we have a mu s, mu sub s, 0.25, and mu k, and uh, 0.2. Now the question is, determine whether the block is in equilibrium, meaning is, is the block uh, not moving, stable, no? equilibrium, meaning all the forces are balanced, and find the value of the friction force. So we are um, uh, having this task of uh, uh, knowing what is <coughs> whether the the system is in equilibrium, and and the value of the friction force as well. So now, um, let me pull out this um, like this, yeah, yeah. 
So solution, uh, we go now to the solution, determine the values of friction force and the normal reaction force from plane required to maintain equilibrium. <coughs> so here is the step-by-step -step solution. First, we have to, to determine the values of friction force and normal reaction force from a plane required to maintain the equilibrium. Now, by, by getting these two, uh, that's the only uh, way we would be able to know if the system is in equilibrium. Now, calculate the maximum friction force and compare with friction force required for equilibrium. So, we should get the F sub M, not the maximum frictional force. If it's greater, block will not slide. Okay? So, even though there's a force, if the frictional force is greater than P, it will not uh, slide. No? If maximum frictional force is less, the, uh, than that frictional force again if the maximum friction force is less than uh, friction force required for equilibrium block block will slide uh, calculate the kinetic friction force so those are the the uh, solutions so we we go now to the solution so let us uh, uh, consider the solution we first have to determine the values of friction force and normal reaction force from plane required to maintain the equilibrium. Meaning, uh, what is that condition wherein that block will not slide downward now along the plane? So here, uh, here is the, the figure. Mm -hmm. The diagram, the schematic diagram. Mm -hmm. so, So we have a hundred newton force here, and uh, uh, and uh, we have uh, this uh, three hundred newton, no, which is acting at the the center, and of course it is acting uh, uh, vertical, yeah. So it, so this straight is three hundred uh, newton towards the the center of uh, the Earth. So we must have uh, this orientation like uh, this one, yeah, the, the y, this one, y and x, right? So here, if we have this, we can, we can transfer the, the other uh, uh, elements like, like this. So here, if you are going to, to transfer this, yeah. So here, uh, there's a 300 Newton force here, right? So here, there's a, there's a 300 newton force here, right? 300 newton force, and then you can you can uh, transfer or reorient this uh, triangle, the three four five, uh, the the right triangle. So it becomes uh, like this, no? So 300 newton, then uh, three four five is this, yeah, three four five, and that five is the hypotenuse coincide with the with the force, and then of course the the the, the normal force, the normal reactionary force yeah, here, for example, this, here is the block. So the, the, the normal reaction force is always perpendicular. Yeah? So this is the, the plane where the block uh, resides. So that, that is the perpendicular, uh, perpendicular force, which is always the, the, the normal force, right? So it's always in 90 degrees. That's why it's like this. Now. And then here is the, the 100 Newton. 100 newton force always the the frictional force is opposite right so this is the f right so this one is the f okay so uh, th th that is just to to clarify um everything yeah now how do we how do we start uh, the uh, the the solution so first we should uh, determine the the values of friction force and normal reaction force from plane required to maintain equilibrium. So we have to get the summation of forces along the x equals to zero because uh, it is in equilibrium. Yeah, So it should be equated to, to, to zero. Then 100, what is this 100 here? Now, acting along the x. So our, our orientation is this, right? x, uh, uh, y, I mean, sorry, y, then x. So here, along the x, what are the forces along the x? 100 Newton and uh, uh, this one, right? So 100 Newton minus 3 over 5. How do we get the 3 over 5 times 300 Newton? So 3 over 5, 3, 3 over 5, this one, yeah? 
3 over 5. Yeah? So, 3 over 5. So, if, if you are looking at this uh, um, eye of sight, line of sight, so 3 over 5, that is uh, kind of opposite. Yeah? 3 over 5, opposite over hypotenuse. Then you will uh, multiply by the 300 newton, which is the 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 the, uh, uh, the, the weight of the block minus uh, f, yeah. So because this, that, that is uh, this thing here is the 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 force, yeah, the, the force along the x, and then another is minus f, this one, no. So it's like this. Um, uh, 100 newton, so 100 newton, then this one, F, so on the other side is negative, and the other side is this, yeah? So this is 3 fifth uh, times 300 newton. So that should be in state of equilibrium where there's no motion, no? so equilibrium. So that's, that's it. So if you manipulate this, F equals negative 80, uh, newtons. Then along the y, meaning along the y, all, all these are along the y. So what are these? So this, this force is here uh, by virtue of the weight of the block and then the normal force. Force, not the normal, the normal force. We have two. So the normal force and the weight by virtue of the block is this. So we have to consider now 4 over 5. Now 4 over 5, we have to consider this one now. 4 over 5 is uh is this now so four over five we will get two hundred forty uh newtons yeah so and 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 then we will uh